What's up guys, Big Clive 30 coming at you today and we're going to be talking a little bit about the most awesome SUV to ever roll on the streets in my opinion. I'm probably like forgetting one. I know you guys will point it out for me at some point, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the most awesome SUV that you can buy that has a warranty that you could just roll straight into the street and drive and make over a thousand horsepower. So. We're actually going to be talking about three different variations of this model and uh, I thank you guys for joining so if you don't mind real quick before we get this video started hitting that like button down below really helps the channel out big time I don't have to tell you guys about that you know at this point and also if you enjoy this kind of content remember to subscribe so let's hop right into it uh, we're gonna start by talking about the the pickup truck so like picture it like a casserole why a casserole I don't really know but you have your bottom layer which is the Ram TRX which by the way I think is probably one of the most awesome things to happen to the performance community in quite some time but this version it shoots over the moon we're not talking about a little 702 horsepower truck that's that's child's play compared to this 1000 horsepower monster this one is uh just like you remember uh, we did a feature on that yanko silverado it's kind of like in the same ballpark that the truck that made 800 horsepower costs a ton of money this one does too but we'll get to that in a minute as well uh, this one is coming from the hennessy camp and it is a notch above that truck but it's in a similar vein, you know, the awesome package with the warranty and you could just go beat the snot out of it and not have to worry about it. So the first two packages, <clears throat> number one, we have the Mammoth 900 package. And with that, you get a couple of things. You get a, a ported snout on the blower, you get a pulley upgrade, injectors, tuning, and it comes to about, uh, they say 912 horsepower. So you're gonna be making a little bit over 900 horsepower at the crank. And I'm not sure why, but there was no particular price listed for this version. Uh, but the Mammoth 1000 is the one that the price is listed for. It's kind of similar to the 900, but instead of just a ported blower, you're going to get an entirely new supercharger. Uh, you're going to get the supporting mods that go with that. I'll show you the figures on screen. Uh, basically, you're just going to be jumping up from 900 to a little over 1000. So uh, both trucks will have an available 2.5 inch lift, available custom bumper other available equipment is custom lighting electric bed cover and steps along with 20 inch hennessy wheels on 35s now the 1000 let's talk pricing before we get to this suv which the truck stuff is really cool but the suv is groundbreaking so the on the truck the mammoth 1000 comes in at a price of one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars that could end up being about $150,000 if you option one of them out with add-ons, or at least that's what Hennessy said uh, in passing in one of the videos that I watched on the truck. And it's really, you know, it seems like a ton of money, and it is, but, I mean, in this world, it's not. Like, in the real regular world, people who are just buying trucks and modifying them, could you do it a lot cheaper than this, even if you go to a reputable shop? Sure, but for these, like, limited-run kind of trucks they bring a higher price tag like I'm, I'm sure that there's a very niche specific market that wants to buy these probably older gentlemen if i were to guess who have that kind of money to throw around and they're happy with it and it comes with a warranty and you just it's plug and play you don't have to worry about anything uh, and you get something kind of special because there are only going to be 200 of these things made it is what it is with that um but if you're questioning the price on those just wait till we get into this suv now this is the main event, and I thought that this thing was just so awesome. I mean, there's not that many awesome SUVs, and this coming from a person who has a sweet spot with SUVs, like, you kind of have to make them into what you want. Like, I had a Tahoe that I was going to modify, do an LSA blower on. I ended up selling before I got that Corvette out there, kind of swap one for the other, um, but there's not really awesome SUVs. The Excursion might be, like, the only thing I could think of, the Trailblazer SS, is just like, I don't know, kind of all right. Um, but in terms of modern SUVs, there's not a whole lot of anything that's like a performance-oriented thing like this that's really cool. So, uh, what are we getting here? The Mammoth SUV is built from a Mammoth 1000 pickup layout more or less from what i've gathered uh and the plan is to create a quote bespoke five-door suv conversion that's going to have front and middle captain's chairs with a folding third row bench seat now as if that wasn't enough for you let's get into the stats that back up what this thing is 
Hennessy says that the zero to 60 is going to come in a quote unquote supercar slaying 3.2 seconds. And if you're anything like me, you're not a zero to 60 second dictionary. What is similar to 3.2 seconds? The C7 ZR1, 3.2 seconds. 19 Hellcat Red Eye, same range. 2009 to 2010 GTR, listed in the 3.2 to 3.6 range. This thing is faster than a Ferrari 458 and about in the same range as the 2017 Lamborghini Huracan. Oh yeah, and did I mention you can also haul seven adults in it? I don't know about you, but I think that was awesome. I, I just think that's awesome. There's only going to be 20 ever made. And this is the point where don't cheat. Don't cheat. I'm watching you. This is the honor, honor, uh, honor code, honor test, whatever. Put in the comments below what you think this thing's going to cost. 1,000 horsepower, custom SUV, only 20 made. What is this thing going to cost? The price. Drum roll, please. The this is going to be a little bit of a sticker shock. It costs $375,000 to add one of these things to your garage. Obviously, you know, you're paying for the upgrades. It's going to cost them a ton of money, I'm sure, to come up with something that can make a pickup truck into an SUV and be able to customize that. It's like literally starting from scratch, I'm sure. Um, but on top of that, I mean, a big part of the price is going to be exclusivity. One of 20 is, you know, there's a pretty cool thing. I, I kind of see, obviously, it's going to have to be people with money, but, you know, celebrities and such ending up with these things. I'm not the type of person who wants to buy expensive things, really. Like, exotic cars, yeah, they're all right. But, like, all of my wish list of cars that I, I you know, none of them are really all that un unobtainable. Like, the Ram TRX is one, so I'm biased with this. You have... The, uh, the latest, set, uh, most recent Cadillac CTSV, or maybe one of the new V-Series cars they're working on over there. You know, the Trackhawk, stuff like that. It's all kind of 100000 or less, which, you know, sounds like a ton of money. But today, in the scheme of things, it's really not all that much. Um, so, I mean, compared to, like, I never had any interest really in exotics, like Lamborghinis and McLarens. Like, they're nice and all. I just don't want one. So, this might be at the top of my wish list actually but so if on your wish list of vehicles where would this rank if it ranks at all let me know about that in the comments below as well anyways guys this has been big clive 34 thank you for joining in appreciate the likes appreciate the subscriptions i will catch you guys next time